uh, well, I just received a text from the dr head dragon that I've been communicating with. Um, I don't think it's Draken. I think Draken's dead. Uh, whoever this is, um, because I made these videos, I am. Come get anything else that you gave to your Master Mason. I will not be him or willing to be used again. Bye. Used. Used for what? I'm trying to help them. And I am tired of you trying to manipulate me and you lying to me as well as you saying I am a liar when your Master gets back. Whatever. I didn't fucking say he was a liar. I just said, are you Draken? You don't feel like Draken. Who are you? What's your name? He wouldn't fucking answer me. He told me that the dragons have a plan for me. I asked him what it was. He wouldn't tell me. Uh, energy is different. And I'm just saying, okay. I didn't accuse him of being a liar. I just fucking asked, you know, whatever. And so basically, I just got dumped again by the dragon. <laughs> And he said he had 70% of the Illuminati that were backing me up, but um, they weren't backing me up that much because if they were, they would have been, if they really cared, they would have kind of got me and got me somewhere safe and helped me get pure so that I could infuse them. But see, the thing that they don't want me to do, none of them want me to get pure because if I go through the 44 day fast and raise my vibration, that means that. I get my grail gifts and then I can infuse them. But they don't want, they want them, but they don't want me to have them at all. Zero. That's why they won't help me, put me through the fast or give me the healing. It's because they don't want me to have my grail gifts. They want to mani take them from me and manipulate them from me and then get rid of me. It's like Osiris, it, Jesus, they, uh, they just want to put us in the tomb and seal us up and get the power. So, you know, and, uh, um, Lying about, uh, lying about what they do, want me to be all secretive. True dude has become one of my best friends, and she is missing. Okay, and this dragon told me that she has been kidnapped and that she is going to be sacrificed after being used in the ritual of Bohemian Grove, and that her daughter is infused by the dragon that inhabited the Queen Elizabeth, who's getting ready to be anchored in that child. So. Dragon, do you really think that you guys can sit around and kidnap and murder and, and plan to murder and torture my friends and my people and me just sit back and not say nothing? You know, but what do you guys got to hide? I mean, do you think that the powers that be really... whoever it is that you don't want to know anything or whatever, do you think that, I mean, what are you doing? If you're not, if you're not up to no good, then what are you worried about? You're worried about them, you know, you're worried about me telling the world about you guys. You don't want me to tell the world anything about you guys. But you guys are part of the story, okay, for one thing. And for another thing, the Human Reptilian Alliance, you know, this has to be documented somehow. And for another thing, how can I experience these things like this that are so huge and not documented? And haven't you guys learned by now that it don't matter what you fucking tell the people, they don't give a fuck and they ain't gonna do a goddamn thing about it anyway. Most won't believe it and the ones that do, they'll, they'll, get, they'll be bored by the information after a few days. I have even called the police and all the FBI's in 50 states in America and the United States telling them that I knew someone who knew where two little girls who were missing children that were kidnapped were buried under a tree. They wouldn't even come take a fucking police report. Okay, so as far as you guys warning about you being in some kind of danger for associating with me, you know, do you think that the whoever it is you're afraid of or the powers that be or whatever, do you think that, no? <laughs> I mean, you guys are the ones that hide things from me and you guys are the ones that, well, wanted to teach me to use my crystals because 
I don't know if you knew that the crystals could absorb and hold the black auras because they got all the real auras that made the real machine, the black auras that was giving these people the power of the gods came to my crystals and I'm positive that you guys didn't have anything to do with that. My crystals did that on their own. You guys confirmed it for me by saying, yeah, that's what happened. And everybody's tripping out, you know, but, you know, you know, it was like last night, you know, like when the dragons were coming, I had to be in the bath with the water with my crystals. And the reptilians, they can manipulate your energy and your frequency a whole lot easier when you're in water because it's easier for them to, um, affect the vibration and the frequency of the water which will affect the person in it so if you're in the tub and stuff that's one of the best feeding times or times to manipulate you to whatever energy they want um, and but still they won't help me put, help me go through my 44 day fast to get pure they won't help me find a job so I can get away from this abusive Larry and so I can take care of myself, me and my animals without having to be a fucking hooker or fucking all that bullshit. These people are, you know, you know why these, most of these people, these dragons are going to go to hell? For greed. Greed. They're so greedy. But, and Drake and having my Master Mason temporarily and took millions and millions of dollars out of the account because the Shriners were out of gestures, I mean, launder trillions and trillions of dollars to my master mason's tax office every year his assets and income say that but he they don't even give him a key to his safe he lives on barely nothing okay but they take all the money um the royal order the gestures and then the shriners and the children's hospital and everything that they do um well anyhow my whoever this dragon is it's in, i'm not sure who he is um, but whatever, he's pissed off at me. He told me, well, since he's already fucking disowned me, but it's like this, you know, do you guys really think that you're going to, that something this big and huge is going to change history and you become earth kings that, you know, that people aren't going to know about you? I've been doing it in a, well, actually, because nobody, I told you guys a long fucking time ago, every single buddy, if I was not pure, and I had this power and this magic and these abilities, and also completely, very easily susceptible to possession, of, I mean, super susceptible to that, um, and I'm not pure, I told you guys that you guys are going to end up paying for it because I will fucking make a mess order out of chaos whether I want to or not it's just going to I'm going to fuck everything up and you guys are going to end up paying the consequences for it I didn't ask you for no goddamn money I didn't ask you for anything except to fucking help me get pure so I could take care of you guys and infuse you but what you guys want is to be infused without me being infused that's why you won't help me heal that's why none of you will help me or put me through the 44 day fast because if you did that then I would have my grail gifts too and god forbid okay i just don't want that um so the 70 percent of the dragons that supposedly this internal war it's supposed to be going on um personally i think that this dragon is pretending to be against the dragon queen and is just manipulating me because they do say that satan or the devil that he lies a lot you know you know whatever they would <laughs> If they are, you know, I can get over it. But they want me to be completely silent about everything that's happening. And either they're cowards. You know, the safest place to be is in the spotlight, for one thing. And for the safest thing for me to be is in the spotlight. And for them is to be in the spotlight. I can either, because the universal spotlight, I do have the power of the universal spotlight. And when it shines... I, who I sh who, who that light shines on I can turn into kings or I can turn into shame and blame and disgrace and humiliation and rejection and complete just uh, completely the bottom of the the, s the scum on the bottom of the fucking scum 
the bottle of this fucking scum. And I wasn't the right word either. In other words, I can make you kings or I can destroy you, your reputations. And any of you that are sitting in any of your thrones right now that are not worthy of capable of that, you think that you're going to wear those crowns around with those high titles, ambassadors and this and that, you know, sounding all important. You guys kill people and sell out people and do all these horrible things and stuff in order to get a title that sounds powerful. The fucking Hell's Angels, their fucking, their wings, their death heads, those fucking wings ain't going to fly them out of nowhere, but they'll kill for them. And Trinity's dad is a member of Bohemian Grove and so is her uncle and Trinity told me that growing up she knew Troy Riggis and Dave Burgess very well because her dad was a Hell's Angel and Trinity being used in his child pornography ring she told me um, that's how she knew Troy and David Burgess is because they were Hell's Angels and or because they were um, They were bikers, they were Reno Renegades, they were Hells Angel supporters, but her dad was a Hells Angel. But he's not anymore. But her dad sold her when she was a baby, and her dad is reptilian, and she's explained to me how they shapeshift into the frenzy of the sexual, sick sexual things that they do, and the screaming dogs, how she would have to lay there for hours and hear her dogs screaming after what they'd be in there doing, just those, torturing those animals. Trinity. Oh, God, Trinity. Right now, she's in a bad place. I can feel her calling out to me. She is... They're going to kill her. They're going to sacrifice her. Okay, and... No, it's got to be me. Okay? I deserve it. Let me do it, okay? Let me do it. Um, Dragon Queen, my sister, my daughter, I will infuse you, okay? I will give you... Everything you need to stay anchored in, in that little girl's body because, well, you know what? You've been here this long, you know, and maybe this term you will have learned more about what it means to be a queen, which is means to be loved by your people because you take care of them and treat them good, not to be worshipped by them because you force them to because make them afraid or give them titles that have no power behind them. Um, the dragons tell me that the humans, uh, uh, every human will sell out anybody, their closest member of their family, their own child, for a price. He, they tell me that every human has a price. Um, I don't know what you need me to do to infuse you. Um, uh, well, you're not going to be Elizabeth, now you're going to be Trinity's daughter, whose name is Trinity's daughter, I call Kiana. So, um, since that is the little girl that you are inhabiting, then that's your name now, is Kiana. That's my name for you, Kiana. No, not because of Elizabeth anymore, because you're not her body anymore. Um, you know you guys don't want to have it my body. You just need my body for whatever reason. I'm not sure, some type of infusion. I don't know how you're going to do this shit. I know that... The dragons um, and the war that's trying to go on, the internal war between the dragon and who's going to be the earth mother and me trying to fight you for the crown and everything. Look, I ain't going to fight no war. I don't even know how to fight. I want to be the fucking hippie healer. I ain't got time to be a queen or to be, and you know, I mean, whatever. I don't want that. I just want to be the hippie healer if I get to live. Um, but. Elizabeth, Kiana, I'm running out of time. I'll be right back. All these dragons that are trying to like work everything up and get this, you know, the war between me and you and her. Well, guess what? It ain't gonna happen. And these dragons that are leaving me now because I made these videos. Well, it's fine. Go out and do what you gotta do. I've survived this long without them. And besides that, they don't they don't do anything to help me. All they do is want. They want to get my girl gifts and my powers, but they don't want me to have them. And they don't help me. You know how easy it would be to get me better? <laughs> so easy, but no. None of them.